sea, sand, surf, and most importantly, sun. God, it feels good to be out of the incessant rains of Mumbai. I'm at the temple city of Mahabalipuram today, near Chennai, and I've come here to drive a car from a Chennai-based Japanese manufacturer. And conditions couldn't be more perfect. A bright, sunny day to drive the new Nissan Sunny. The Sunny moniker goes back more than 45 years, and it was first used on a Nissan sedan in 1965. Nine generations of the car have since carried the name all over the world. This 10th generation Sunny shares Nissan's innovative V platform with the Micra, but that's where any similarities end. The Sunny is longer, wider, and looks nothing like a hatchback. The front has a large chrome rimmed grille with prominent Nissan badging and swept back headlamps. In profile, it looks big, almost like it's from a segment higher, and the sloping roof line runs all the way back to the boot. The tail lamp unit and other detailing on the rear actually make this car look like a Tiana from certain angles and that's a good thing for prospective buyers who'll get a choice of six colors and three trim levels. Now this is going to be the third or fourth straight week that I'm sitting in the back of a car but I think that's a good thing because as you can see that indicates that the cars we're getting in the Indian market these days are just getting bigger and roomier. Now coming back to the Sunny, there you go, huge, huge amounts of leg room and knee room in this car. This seat is all the way forward. This seat is in a normal driving position for a normal sized driver. And as you can see, it's cavernous here in the back. If I had to be picky, then I'd say that the under thigh support isn't very good. But all in all, leg space and room is going to be a huge USP of this car. The rest of the cabin looks like and shares a lot of parts with the Micra. The dash is the same, though the upper part of the center console with the sound system and central AC vents is new. The climate control unit and rounded side AC vents are borrowed from the Micra, but the Sunny gets a new instrument cluster and a separate rear AC blower. Also available on the top XV spec, keyless entry and start. This is the East Coast Road between Chennai and Pondicherry, better known to us Chennai locals as ECR. This is where I learned to drive almost 10 to 15 years ago. And to be back here now testing cars feels a bit special. It's also a great place to test cars because despite it not having a divider and just being two lanes, it's got these nice open flat out sections where you can really push a car, enough tight corners for you to gauge a car's handling. And because it's been well used for so long now, enough bad stretches of road to keep you honest and see just what the suspension of a car is like. But I digress, time to get back to the sunny. It's a very light car, tipping the scales at less than a ton. Power comes from a new 1.5 litre petrol engine that produces 99 PS at 6000 RPM and peak torque of 134 Newton meters at 4000 RPM. It's a peppy engine that loves to be revved, but there's also significant low-down grunt. So if you're stuck in city traffic, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, and simply can't be bothered to keep shifting gears all the time, the Sunny will do just fine in whatever gear you're in. Talking of shifting, the five-speed gearbox does feel a bit notchy, though the ratios are ideally matched to the engine's characteristics. Nissan claims an ARAI certified mileage of 16.95 km per litre, which should also translate to pretty good numbers in real world conditions. So I'm turning around here to give my camera person Vishal another shot, and as you can see, the steering is really, really light, and at city speeds, that's a good thing. But when you start building up speed, what tends to happen is it starts to feel a little bit disconnected. Nothing alarming, mind you, but just lacks any sporty edge. There's Vishal. Check out this shot. The Sunny has McPherson strut suspensions in the front and a torsion beam at the rear. The suspension has been well-tuned for Indian conditions, so the ride is plush and comfortable, but because of the soft setup, 
the car tends to roll quite a bit at higher speeds. The Sunny then is an impressive package. At launch, there will be three trim levels but only a petrol engine. At some point in the future, there will be a diesel sporting the Micra's 1.5 litre DCI engine and I for one think that needs to come in sooner rather than later.